Lisa with Luna Moth Creations and I am back with my Sugar Muses. I think it's called Sugar Muses Deluxe. Don't quote me. For January 2023. So I had opened my Midnight Muses uh, like last week or something. And so this is their, their uh, higher priced one. It's got more stuff in it. And then actually they just uh, started offering a Midnight Muses Deluxe. So I've ordered that and the first the first time they're going to even offer it is in February. So I would think that it's still available. So you can jump over to their their websites linked below in case you guys wanted that. So hello <laughs> and welcome. Hello. Uh, my name is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. I like to do uh, mostly unboxings is what I like to do. I like to do more things but um, I work too much at my muggle job um, and all that jazz. So anyways, hey, let's, oh, there's more tape. Let's, uh, let's get into this box, you know what I'm saying? Tape, tape everywhere. Why is there so much tape in here? Did you see that? I rhymed. I'm a good rhymer. This is it's heavy too, there's stuff in here. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot she revamped her, um, her paperwork, it, it's like broken down into different sections. I really enjoy it, I'm excited. Um, there's more than one today. All right, so it, ooh, something smells good. New Beginnings and Open Roads, January 2023. Okay, and so now she's got like the contents written at the top here. And then um, there's a thing that says, okay, I'm just gonna go through this. All right, so new beginnings. This month we celebrate the beginning of a new year and the opportunity to welcome new blessings into our life. The celebration of in bulk falls on February 1st, 2023. This is a Sabbath that welcomes the first sign of rebirth and the promise of spring that is to come. The word in bulk means in the womb of the mother because the seeds of spring are beginning to grow in the womb of mother earth. In bulk marks the halfway point between Samhain and Beltane. If Samhain is the end of things, then in bulk would be considered the beginning of them. This Sabbath is about preparing us for the coming planting physically, mentally, and spiritually. Some of the tradition surrounding this festival is about honoring the goddess Bridget. But even if you do not follow a traditional Celtic or Wiccan path, this celebration can be easily adapted for a number of belief systems. You might spend some time cleaning your space, clearing the mind and heart to allow inspiration to enter for this new cycle of growth. All right. And then she talks about creating a sacred space. I just don't know if there's any, um, I just don't want to read any of the objects, you know. Choose a space that you can claim as your own. Set up a table or altar with a comfortable place to sit. Decorate with special items that have meaning to you, add some objects that present the four elements, gemstones, candles, incense, and a chalice with spring water, etc. Then add seasonal items from nature for the month of January. Try evergreens, pine cones, a corn husk doll for in bulk, uh, white flowers and or symbols of the returning sun. Cleanse your space before and after rituals and spells. You can do this by burning incense, smoke bundles, or loose herbs, ringing a bell can also clear stagnant energies. January associations are, uh, January represents gateways, new beginnings, new journeys and doorways, gemstone garnet, also opal, jasper, moss agate, onyx, and ruby. Goddesses are Hera and Freya. Freya, that's my cat. Uh, the gods Janus, full moon, uh, wolf moon. Astrology is Capricorn and Aquarius. Aquarius, age of Aquarius. Um, my, one of my, oh, there's a stink bug on the wall. Where'd you come from? Like, literally, he must have flown up there because I didn't see him on the wall and he's like halfway over. Huh. Uh, okay. I feel like we're getting ready to get into, um, things that are in here. So I don't want to look at this right now. So we have open roads and new beginnings, um, artwork. And it tells you some things about opening roads and all that business. And then we've got more because this one also has herbs, gemstones, blah, 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 spell work. All right. And then our intuitively drawn card comes in this little envelope. Yeah, one of my kids told me that I shouldn't sing. I had my granddaughter the other day 
and I think I was singing and he was like, you're gonna scare people. Oh no, it was my, <laughs> it was my daughter-in-law. My daughter-in-law was like, please don't do this when I have children because you're going to scare them. <laughs> okay, so there appears to be a man in a field. You see him? I don't know if it's gonna focus. It says man in Heather. So he's, he's in Heather. Um, what I've learned as a traveler is to open every door, to kiss the sun every morning, and fall in love with the summers more. Meditate with Lapidolite for serenity and compassion. Um, I just got a new Lapidolite palm stone, so I will have to do that. Uh, but that's nice. I wonder if this, I bet this deck is like, um, tells you what to meditate with. That'd be nice. Um, I don't know that it says anything about here. It does say tarot card to work with this month, the chariot. This card connects to your natural drive and determination. Success is achieved by combining the knowledge of your mind, heart, and spirit to break through limitations and open new roads for yourself. Incorporate this card into this month's spells and rituals to bring these traits into your workings. Very nice. All right, so we've got some like evergreen like paper. All right, then we have Open Roads Organic Tea. Again, I don't know if they say much in here about each item. Um, but it's got lemon balm, orange zest, clove, lavender, licorice root, hibiscus, and stevia. Caffeine free. I don't want to open it right now, though. All right, then we have something in this bag. Oh, there's green crinkle paper. I might have to. Can you guys see it? I hope that you guys can see it. I hope it translates where you guys can see the crinkle paper monster. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take him down though because he's gonna fall. He's getting too tall. What do I got here? My mom is texting me. Whoops. Oh crap, I have to lean over. Oh. Okay, we have a little green sachet. Apparently I'm singing today. <laughs> oh, it's a bracelet. Is it green adventuring? And then it's got a sun. Okay, so here's our little bracelet. Oh my God, my chair is... <laughs> Do you see my chair? It's like spinning me around. <laughs> Hold on. It's a whole thing. All right, so. Yay! I'm gonna put it on. Very nice. Sometimes these kind of stretchy bracelets, they like pinch my skin. All right, I don't know that it says anything about it. Um, I don't know. Anyways, it is, uh, yeah, Green Adventuring Gemstone, no, wait. Oh, just kidding, no, it's not. It's Moss Agate. Oh, okay, I can see some of the beads have a little bit of extra something something that looks like moss agate so it's moss agate all right then we have this little bag and it's got like a bird there's a bird on it oh i have a little uh bag for my tea oh i wonder if this is like spell items Woo, okay okay so we've got a gold uh chime candle We've got some, uh, a mixture of herbs, it looks like. And then we have Mojo Wishing Beans. Oh, Mojo Wishing Beans. Hmm, I wonder if I could get Mojo Wishing Beans for my shop. All right, I'm curious if this goes along with, yeah. Okay, so I'm not gonna read the, um, ooh, this, I'm doing this ritual tonight. So it's a ritual to open roads. I know what road I want to open. But, um, anyway, there's more items for this, um, spell, I believe. So this is your, what, wait, that, that blend is your road opener blend. So we're going to be doing some things with that. All right, now we've got our oil, but it looks, oh, it's a mist. 
and I'll say this every time, Sugar Muses has the best oil blends, the best. So we've got uh, Road Open. There, like, there's each company, there's like one thing that I'm like, yes, that is their specialty. And, uh, ooh, that's nice. That's nice. I love their oil blends. Okay, so this is, um, well, Open Roads Organic Mist, <laughs> which I'm sure that she's going to maybe have a spray of sieves, maybe. Yeah, so we will be um, using that in the ritual. Again, subscribe so you get the, ris the, the, the ritual. Subscribe so you get the ritual. Look, I'm trying to um, incorporate other things into my life besides monsters. So this is the Sparkling Ice. I got it at Walmart. Um, orange Mango. Sparkling Ice. Um, if you guys want that. Alright, so this feels like crystals. In another bag. Everything is green. Maybe we're opening roads to money. I mean, it's whatever you want to do, I'm sure. But, you can always open roads to money. But my road that I want to open is not to do with money. Whoa! Okay. Milky Quartz? Maybe? I got three. So we got this guy. As you can see, he's not like clear quartz. It looks like Milky Quartz, I'm assuming. Okay. Tumbled White Onyx. Oh, here we go. White Onyx. Um, some people... No, no, just kidding. Some believe White Onyx has the power to manage cosmic energy to your benefit. This stone lets you tap into that well of enlightenment, opening doors, and pathways to manifesting. Awesome. We are so putting all this together for the ritual that we all do. All right. Then we have Green Adventuring Sand. And it says, good luck. I'm assuming this is like cauldron sand. Let me. Can you guys see it? I, I'm afraid. I'm going to spill it. I don't know why I wanted to smell it. Um, I have cauldron sand in my shop. I'm going to beef that up, guys. I'm getting ready to. And I think I'm going to offer like bigger jars of it. So that way you get a lot more. Um, so stay tuned. Mama will be um, adding stuff. So. Uh, where'd it go? Um, where'd it go? Mist, Onyx. Well, I guess this is part of the, um, okay, Aventuring Sand. Gemstone sand is made from Aventuring gemstones being crushed into a very fine consistency. Green Aventuring is known as a luck and success stone used in spells and rituals to, attra to attract abundance, Good health and happiness. Um, and it says, use in the base of your cauldron while burning herbs, resins, or powder on charcoal. Use it to dress candles or in a chambered pendulum. Ring candles with it. Use in grid work along with other crystals. Use it to craft and create art. Add to resin to create organ generators. Um, if you guys want to know how to use it in your cauldron, I will link right here how to use um, a cauldron. I think that's what my video is. I have a video where I showed you how to use the sand and all that. So um, I will link that so you can see. Yay! Okay. He's getting quite tall. Ah! I fell! <laughs> Come on, crinkle paper monster. There we go. What do you guys think? He looks great, doesn't he? All right, then, here, let's get this. We've got road opener with lemongrass incense sticks. I bet it smells amazing. I love Mmm. All right, I don't know that it's going to really say anything about it. Um, I'm sure that it is in our, um, we'll be lighting it with our, uh, I think. Lemongrass incense sticks. Okay, it just, yeah. I mean, you guys know what it is. All right, so then we have Druid Wisdom hand-poured scented soy wax melts. 
Very nice. I have to find my melter. I have a melter somewhere around here. I just want to smell it. Oh, there's like, is that bay leaves? And a little bit of sparklies in there. Mmm. Again, I don't know that it says anything about it. Druid wisdom. No, it doesn't really say anything about it. I don't know if we're going to be doing anything with our... Um, I don't think so, necessarily so. Oh, no, that's just talking about instructions. But yay, all right. Oh, it just fell backwards, oh well. Okay, now we've got this big box. There's my friggin' dog again. Oh, wrong, wrong door. Gosh, look here. Look at the sides. There's like Celtic stuff. Whoa, I think she made it too. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Maybe she painted it. Cool, awesome. Okay, does it say anything about this box? I don't think it does. It, it just says Celtic keepsake box. Awesome. How cool is this? I know what my favorite is. I know what my favorite is. This guy right here. <laughs> All right, guys. So that is our Sugar Muses Deluxe Box for January 2023. I would love to hear what you guys think about this. What is your favorite item? Um, I'm excited about the ritual because I really wanted to do a road opener um, spell ritual thing. Like I had it in my mind already and now I just have to follow one instead of trying to make up my own, which I will probably still make up like my own little incantation, obviously, but I'm ready to go. But this thing is awesome. So I'm super excited about this. If you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment, really helps out my channel. And hey, if you're not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're already a subscriber, guys, I thank you so much. And until next time, have a great day. Bye.